Hello Year 8. Here is your next lesson on variation and evolution. Your do now task is a copy and complete of the Punnett square which we looked at last week. You can pause the video while you copy the diagram and complete it. Then move it on in five minutes. Here are the answers to your do now. Well done if you got them right. If you didn't, go back and have a look and check where you went wrong. Make sure you understand it. You can always email me if you need some more help. Our objectives today are to understand how organisms have a shape that suits their environment, how adaptations are limited and how evolution occurs. Look at this lovely animal. It's my favourite. But it doesn't look exactly like all other animals. What is special about how it looks? Write down the three features that make it different from other animals. You can pause the video while you do this. These animals are also very different. All animals, all on our planet, all different. Wonder why this could be. More different animals here. And there's a video link if you want to see some film of even more different animals and their variations and start to think about why they're like this. In case you're wondering, the one on the left is actually called a flying fish. And yes, it is a fish where the fins have adapted to look like wings and let it jump out of the sea. Now, there's lots of different animals in the world. You are going to be illustrating, that means drawing a picture of, your own species of animal. You will need a pencil for this. Remember, we only draw a pencil. And it has to match the description of how it lives. It's not going to be completely made up. So you could choose a camel that lives in a very cold desert with tall trees. Or a nocturnal frog. Remember, nocturnal means it comes out at night. That lives on a foggy beach. Fishes that live in ponds that dry up for six months of the year. A flightless, tree-climbing, fruit-eating bird. You only need to choose one. You can pause the video while you draw it, but remember, your diagram must match the features. A flightless bird will not have very big wings. Now we're going to have a think cloud. This is a new page. You need to put a big bubbly cloud shape in the middle. And the notes for the main question, a whale that vacuums up swarms of flying insects, not like a normal whale at all. What would happen if all the swarming insects suddenly disappeared? Draw some lines coming out of your cloud and start to put on your ideas. Here are some possible Pause the video while you do it, then check. Four more questions to consider, five more questions to consider as you go along. Look at these. Aren't these interesting organisms? Remember, an organism is anything that is alive. What makes them special? What have they all got in common? Remember, an adaptation is a change. An evolve is something that happens over time. It doesn't just happen one day, it's fully changed. It's a little bit one generation, a little bit more for the children, a little bit more again for the grandchildren. Extension task. We're all going to have a go at this because we've got plenty of time. Now we've got a video to finish off with. It's quite a long one, so you might want to watch it in stages. You've got three key questions to answer. So write those down before you even start to watch the video. Make sure you leave a couple of lines underneath to put your answer. A definition is a meaning that you would find in a dictionary. It's a good idea to learn those. Now, 
last thing we always do this is to look back at the objectives we had at the beginning if you need to be able to explain the key terms and mechanisms if you can't do that you might want to go back to that section thank you for your time you eight thank you for working hard keep safe and hope to see you soon